This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Meredith Barrick, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. The cold is brutal for first responders, and multiple fire departments are battling a massive fire in Hendricks County. This is happening at Ray's Trash Service on US 40 West, that's just a few miles west of Plainfield. This fire started around 10:15 this morning. No word yet on what caused it. And this morning, Indianapolis firefighters had to brave the weather to battle this house fire. It started around 8 this morning at a home near 38th and Peyton Avenue on the northeast side. No injuries were reported. Arson investigators were later called to the scene, but so far they don't know what caused the fire. Spend about eight hours a week for six weeks in a training course and graduate with a full time job. That's what the Indiana Construction Roundtable Foundation is offering to people who are interested in a career in construction. The state of Indiana is now projecting an overall industry shortage of 146,000 workers by 2026. The ICRF is working to combat the looming worker gap by creating an opportunity to add more skilled workers to the industry. This program gives people exposure to commercial construction construction, both union and merit shop employers, as well as highway and residential construction. The next set of classes start in February in Indianapolis and programs are being scheduled in Martinsville and Anderson. It is currently free for students as tuition is getting covered through grants and private and public funding. You can find qualifications for the program and how to apply on HiringHoosiers.com and our Hiring Hoosiers Facebook page. Todd. It remains bitter cold here throughout the remainder of the day today as temperatures will stay below zero. Wind chill values even colder than that. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures range from one below in Bloomington to eight below in Indy, 12 below in Peru. But here's the difference. Tomorrow the wind is not as strong, so wind chill values aren't quite as harsh, still very dangerous. But as the day goes on, we'll start to warm up back into the teens with increase in clouds, so that is an improvement. And then a warm front arrives Thursday night. This will bring snow into the area Thursday night after the commute and lingers into early Friday morning before it tapers off. But it's a quick moving system that could slicken up the roadways quite a bit here, I think, across the area for Friday morning's commute. At this point, expecting about one to two inches with maybe a few areas picking up a little bit more. Todd, thank you. For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.